This isn't investigation. This isn't deduction. There's some mold on this bread. You, uh, Nervous. He's floundering. I got him. Way. He did it. Hi, I'm John. I'm a private investigator. I've been doing this for about three years. I've been involved in a lot of big cases, major cases, criminal, civil, you name it. I've seen it. It's a dark world out there. And today, I'm going to try and deduce who ate my sandwich. Hi, Blake. <laughs> oh, man. It's been too long, my friend. There's some mold on this bread. It's your sandwich. <laughs> All right, well, you and I know each other, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, why don't you come join me? <clears throat> how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm fine. Tell me your name again. Becky. Becky. I know where you work and I know what you do, so. Oh. <laughs> well, that's good. What'd yes. you have for breakfast today? Coffee. With what? Sweetened condensed milk. Is that better than? It's the best. You should try it. Why? Because it adds a little sweetness. It makes your coffee extra creamy. So no solid food today for you. Not yet. Besides your lunch, of course. And now the game begins. You know, people who haven't eaten my lunch say they ate my lunch. Why people, would I lie people to you? who have eaten my lunch say they ate my lunch just to throw me off. Really, we get into the showdown here, the mental chess match. This isn't investigation. This isn't deduction. This is a circus trick. And I'm the elephant. Where do you live? Hollywood. All right, you live in Hollywood. Where are you from? Originally Phoenix. Oh, yes. Okay. What's your favorite sandwich? Grilled cheese. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Warm. Preferably. Cold grilled cheese doesn't quite have the same melt. Factor. I was going to talk about consistency. You said melt factor. Yeah. Yeah. There's a creaminess to uh, grilled cheese. There's a theme here. I like creamy foods, creamy coffee. I'm, I'm the creamy. detective. Oh. Just trying to help. Jeez. Allow, allow me to shine here a little bit. Yeah, I was gonna notice that. Yeah, you, so you you like a certain mouth feel. Yeah. At yeah. least so far in 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 your comfort foods. Mm -hmm. what, what's your favorite dessert? Ice cream. Really favorite yummy. flavor of ice cream. Oh, vanilla. Why is that weird? You can do anything with it. It's endless possibilities. So you dress it up. Yeah. With what? Sometimes chocolate syrup. Sometimes Kanye. Uh, cayenne pepper. Kanye. Cayenne pepper. Sometimes Kanye West. Cayenne pepper. Yeah, cayenne pepper, preferably. <laughs> That's not weird. It's a little. It's unusual. Look, I'm not here to invite you out for dessert. Valid. I'm also not here to cast judgment, so I shouldn't say the word weird, but it's unusual. Cayenne pepper. Mm -hmm. I was. I thought I was pushing boundaries when I was going to ask you if you've ever done like honey roasted peanuts. Oh, I'm not a big peanut fan. Because of the consistency. They're a little crunchy for my taste. It's true. Mm -hmm. Not a fan of peanuts. This is creamy peanut butter, though. Okay. Uh, where'd you go to college? Uh, Arizona State. Yeah, and I know you. you went to grad school or law, law school. school. Yeah. Can, we, can we say that? Where'd you go to law school? Southwestern. Where's that? Is uh, that? It's on the edge of downtown LA. Okay. I think I'm done for now, Becky. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your time. Anytime. I'm always here if you need me. Uh, would you join me, please? Sure. What's your name? My name is Matt. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Southern California. Okay. What part? Chino Hills. It's near like the Pomona area. Okay. Familiar with that. So greater Los Angeles metro area, kind of. Yeah, a little bit outside. Little, that. yeah. Where do you live now? Studio City. Okay. What do you do for a living? I work in post production. Uh, where? Here. What's your favorite sandwich? I like ham. Pretty simple, but I like ham. What about pastrami? Uh, yeah, it's good too. Most of meats I'm fine with. Okay. Anything you're not fine with? I mean, it's turkey. Like, I don't hate turkey, but it's a little bit. I prefer not to have it. So you like some, maybe some of the more salted cured meats? Yeah. Somewhere on the uh, salami spectrum. Yeah. I, is that like an official like thing? Is that like Scoville units where it's like a known like food? Thing? Probably not. Oh. It should be. Maybe BuzzFeed can uh, give me a new spinoff series where I talk about mm. sandwich meats. I'd watch it. All right, so you're a ham man. Not exactly anti-turkey, but not exactly vibing turkey. Yeah. Which, frankly, I feel you. <laughs> um, what do you put on your sandwiches? Ham, um, like tomatoes, olives, cucumbers. Not a whole lot. Like I usually, usually don't have like condiments or anything like that. Interesting. No mustard. Uh, I don't really like mustard, no. Is that shocking? I love mustard. I'm sorry to uh, sorry to do this to you. Hey, it's not weird. Mm -hmm. It's unusual. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not even gonna offend you by asking about mayonnaise because let, let's just let's forget I even brought it up. Okay. So, but interesting. So olives and cucumbers. That actually sounds pretty incredible. A ham sandwich with olives, cucumbers, and tomato. That sounds interesting. Yeah. What's your favorite movie? Star Wars. Episode four. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's your favorite comedy? Star Wars Episode One, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wait. Top five. No. So I say Star Wars number one. I group Star Wars as a franchise because I'm sure I like more than one Star Wars movie. I like Dark Knight, uh, Inception, or I like Christopher Nolan, if that's three. I don't know. I like a lot of movies. Okay. Mm. How long you live in Studio City? Um, About like eight months. Oh, okay. 
What'd you have for breakfast? Cereal. It's like Cheerios. Where? At my place. What kind of milk do you use? I think it's 2%. What's that face supposed to be? It wasn't sweet and condensed. Do you drink coffee? I do not. That's weird. Do you drink tea? Not really. So you have no morning beverage routine? I mostly drink water. I guess that's healthy. All right, Matt, I think I'm good for now with you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your time. Wonderful talk. Why don't you join me, please? What's your name? Austin. Austin? Mm -hmm. Hi. Hello. Did you eat that? Yeah. I was pretty hungry. <laughs> Where are you from? I'd say Torrance, Gardena. Where do you live now? Crenshaw. Okay, like south of the 10? Yeah. West Adams? Yeah, yeah, I'm in that area. Okay, yeah. how long you live there? About a year and a half, almost two years, actually. Okay, what do you do for a living? I am a case assistant. I work part-time at a law firm. What law firm? At Bowman and Brook. Are they downtown? No, they're actually in Torrance. Okay. What's their break room like? It's got a coffee machine, a couple sinks. I usually don't go up there that often, honestly. I eat at my desk a lot. Pack a lunch? Yeah. What do you eat? Sometimes Chinese food, pizza, whatever's left over. What's your favorite dessert? Mmm, mochi. What's mochi? It's like a pounded rice cake. Uh, usually, I like the really sweetened kind. I've heard of it. I don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> It's like if you imagine like a fruit snack, a large fruit snack made out of rice instead, but it doesn't even taste like rice. I'm sorry, a fruit snack made out of yeah, rice? Yeah, like that kind of like, like a consistency and chewiness. Wild. What's your favorite movie? What's your favorite TV show? Ooh, uh, The Good Place right now. Oh, that's funny as hell, right? Everyone says yeah. it's funny. Okay. Yeah. Who's your favorite actor? One of them is Alan Arkin. I saw him recently in the Kaminsky Method. Alan Arkin. Arkin. The old man. The, uh, the, uh, the patriarch of the Arkins. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Interesting. Alan Arkin. Nice. What's your favorite fruit? Mm, peaches. Go for a peach. All right, Austin. I think I'm done for now. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you for the education on Moki. Oh, yes. Thank you for the sandwich. All right. All right, man. Don't get too excited, man. <laughs> uh, Blake, right? Yep. Where are you from? I'm from Seattle. Little, no, little, Washington. No. I'm from a little town outside of Houston, Texas. Oh, shoot. I got my tattoo in Seattle. I, I you got to stop it. using old videos and information. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> hey, that's casework, man. And now, Blake. I almost wrote down Brett. I'm sorry. Mm. Uh, little town outside Houston. Oh, bullshit. Did you go to undergrad? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I was like, man, uh, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I went to. Uh, He's nervous. He's a floundering. A &M I got him. He did it. What? A&M and U of H. Uh, Texas A&M? Yeah. Okay. And then University of Houston? Yeah. Um, yeah. What's your favorite food? Probably like a hamburger or something, like a good hamburger. Like a cookout hamburger is probably the best. Cheese? Yeah, definitely cheese. Definitely cheese. Definitely cheese. A little a little layer of lettuce, maybe some pickles, ketchup, only ketchup, and then that's it. Ah, no mustard. No mustard. Well, no mustard on anything ever. Anti-mustard. Anti-mustard completely. All right. Disagree, but got to respect <laughs> it. This is America. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just let me ask you this. Do you toast the bun? I mean, if it's, if you hear cookout, if you're making it, yeah. That's never really been my thing. You don't, you don't toast the bun? I don't dig the toast. Yeah. I mean, a little, a little bit well, is fine. Question, do you do a sesame seed bun or do you do like a no, like a no sesame seeds? Uh, I guess if I had a choice, I'd probably pick sesame seed. Because like, like when you toast a sesame seed bun, it gets weird. I just don't think it's necessary. It's like a little, <laughs> a little toasting is fine, but then not many people know how to actually put it. I don't know. Out. However you toast it, your sandwich though, it's fantastic. So did you make this? Good misdirect. Does it look like <laughs> I made that? I just, I won the recipe. It's really good. What's your favorite movie? I'm actually gonna have to go with My Cousin Vinny. I haven't seen it actually. You've never seen My Cousin Vinny? No. Dude, you're totally missing out. That's what I hear. I wrote it down. So that, that, that one's for me. Okay. <laughs> Favorite dessert. I'm not really a dessert person. I like candy and stuff. I don't like like pastries all the time, so I don't really go to dessert, but I would say probably just like a red velvet cake or something like that. Oh, okay. You know? What's your favorite candy? Well, it used to be called shock tarts, but now they're called sweet sweet tart sour chews. I don't know why they changed that, but it's just rebranding. Shock tarts, yeah. yeah. Probably after the Iraq war. <laughs> I'm gonna let you have that one. <laughs> Get me milk to go with this, actually. I don't know, ask Becky. <laughs> Food, movies, what other legitimate investigative tactics could I use here? Do you have any food allergies? You know what? I didn't think I did for the longest time. And then like, I moved here a year ago and on the drive, I was getting like, you know, road trip food. And I got a box of Nerds, which is another type of candy I love. And I started breaking out in hives. From the nerds? From the nerds. So what are you allergic to? The sugar? I don't know. I think it must be a dye or something. Or some, yeah, there. something they yeah. color with. Yeah. Nerds are gross. Man. What? Really? It's just, it's nothing <laughs> but sugar. There's no, there, 
There's no style. There's there's no identity to nerds. <laughs> it's just the scraps that they scrape off the floor of the factory <laughs> and throw not, in a I'm box, man. man. Well, I mean, it's like a childhood thing, you know. Okay, Blake, I think I'm good for now. Thank mm -hmm. you. There's only four. So Matt and Blake both are, are strongly anti-mustard, which doesn't really matter, but <laughs> I find interesting. I gotta be honest, I like Matt. I love his opinions on sandwich meat. And as far as sandwich dressings, he's given me something to really think about. He works in post-production, can't trust him. Austin works for a law firm. He's gotta keep his nose clean. Then again, clean cut, pleasant, unassuming. Those are the sociopaths. Still don't know what the hell Moki are. Blake, I mean, I'm blinded by my heart here. I, I wanna believe that Blake wouldn't do that to his boy, but he's ruthless, man. Those Texans, they take what they want. I can't draw much information off of this bite. Becky, she's a lawyer, so she would know how to obfuscate the truth. Also went to ASU, obviously a hedonist. I'm gonna write down hedonist. Uh, Becky, would you join me again? Yes. How come you never ask me what my favorite movie is? What is your favorite movie? Either Who Framed Roger Rabbit or Empire Records. Oh, okay. Any other questions you'd like me to ask you? No, I just felt excluded. Okay. I think in the past I've asked you what, what who your favorite band is, or I know we've talked mm -mm. about music. We've talked about music. You've asked me who I've seen, but never who my favorite band is. Oh, who is your favorite band? That's a complicated question. <laughs> Do you have any allergies? I mean, in general, yeah, but mostly to like environmental like, stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay. How long do you live in California? Seven and a half years. Oh, because you went to school out here mm -hmm. too, right? Okay. How long have you worked for BuzzFeed? Two and a half years. Okay. Do you work on site here? Yeah. Okay. Very good jam to peanut butter ratio. <laughs> Needs more ham. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you're curious, I like mustard. Can I see your hands? I think I got all I need. Thank you. I gotta stop doing this. I'm miserable. All right, look, I don't know, okay? I have a couple suspicions. The questions were useless. It was nice to get to know these people. I mean, my reputation's on the line. You know, I see, I see the YouTube comments. I know what people expect out of me. They think I'm this, you know, genius. That just is never wrong. That's a lot of pressure. I'm a great man. I do a lot of great things, but I'm not perfect. But I think maybe Becky ate my sandwich. I definitely ate your sandwich. Of course you did. It's the highlight of my week. I am so sorry for you. But anyway, congratulations. You had me. You've got the eyes of a panther. It's tough, it's tough to face you down. Down here in the trenches, it's difficult. It's horrifying, frankly, it's terrifying. I mean, the big thing is, I mean, it's not a big thing, it's meaningless, but it was the only thing I kind of latched onto is that Becky kept talking about things that were like creamy or sort of like savory. She, she, she struck me as the type of person who would enjoy what appears to be a non-crunchy peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Believe it or not, I really was trying to pull some sort of evidence off of this bite mark. I was looking for lipstick. I lied about the mold because I wanted to see anybody's reaction. There was no reaction. You've all got great poker faces. You know, look, I'm not a forensic pathologist, but I was trying to get a look at everybody's mouth and how their teeth were shaped and not only overbite versus underbite or like, you know, how their teeth matched up, but also how their teeth were like arrayed, you know, in a certain way. And this is almost a perfect Anyway, I guess I know the shape of Becky's mouth because I, that, that was one of my major influencers as well. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be so happy to see this. Yeah, no, it's a good mouth, but uh, yeah, it, it, it's, a, it's, it's a telltale giveaway. Or maybe I'm just that good, I don't know. But uh, that's what I was thinking. It was hard, look, it's a toss up, man. It's a one out of four toss up, but I got it, I got it right, I was right. <laughs>